In this video, I want to talk about an upgrade to the FM data migration tool that's part of the FileMaker 17 platform release. That's a mouthful. So what are we talking about? Well, FileMaker has released the FM data migration tool. This is a tool that allows you to rapidly take the data out of a customer FileMaker file and through a very high-speed process, move it into a new copy of that customer's file. So the idea is that the customer has a live file, and maybe you have an upgraded version of that file that you want to give to them so they can use the new version with new features or bug fixes, etc. Now, historically, this is something we could do by using a series of import commands, but that's very painful. It takes a lot of time. In fact, it's been one of the biggest weaknesses of the FileMaker platform for like 30 plus years. So with this new tool, within seconds, literally seconds, you can move huge amounts of data without almost any effort from the production file to a new development file, and then take that file and upload it to the server so the customers can take advantage of that new version. Very cool technology. Now, the problem is that the FM data migration tool is a command line tool, which means that if you're a FileMaker ninja, then that's totally cool. You can do command line. It's not a problem. For the rest of us, normal humans who like to use mices and graphical interfaces and things like that, it's kind of offensive. And so we have today a great wrapper application made by the folks at Productive Computing. This is a free add-on. You can download it from the folks at Productive Computing, completely free, and it provides a graphical interface for FileMaker's data migration tool. So you don't have to do the command line stuff. Super cool. So let's check it out. So I've gone to the Productive Computing website, and I've downloaded the FM Data Migration Assistant. Now, as I fire it up, it's important to understand that it will not ship with the data migration engine in it. The data migration engine, this command line program, well, that was built and is maintained by FileMaker Incorporated. So really, it's an asset of Apple. So Apple technically owns this program. So this wrapper application goes around it. So what we have to do is to get things going is first we have to go to configure and we're going to say load in the data migration tool. We actually have to have a zip copy of the data migration tool, which I have right here. I'm going to say browse and identify the zip copy. And so I'm going to say FM data migration tool zip. I'm going to say insert. And what that does is it embeds the command line tool into this wrapper application. So now they're really kind of one program. Very cool. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and continue here. Now, the next thing to do is instead of using the command line, let's just drag and drop. I love dragging and dropping. That's why I use a computer with a mouse, right? Little mouse goes around circles. I like this. I prefer a mouse as opposed to trying to memorize the long line of text. So here is the source file. This is the 700 megabyte file that we had in the last sample. In fact, we're using the same sample. And so right here is that. The fresh clone is right here. And then I have to provide uh, usernames and passwords, et cetera. And so I'm going to do that. I think it's one, two, three, four. So neither one of these have the ear encryption. This is the encryption at rest. So we're set. Now understand that I kept my actual codes over here. So where we had the uh, string of text, we had string of text number one, number two, then we finally had number three here. So either you can do the drag and drop like I just did, or you could try to build this string of text here and hope that you get it right. And then if you get it wrong, you have to do the whole thing over again, right? So you have this or this, you can choose one or the other. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit start to migrate, okay? And it's going to ask me one time for the security code for this computer on the Mac. And once again, that's because the wrapper app is commanding the FM data migration command tool to do its work for it. So it's very much uh, taking command and telling it what to do. So we start the process going here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of our command line. We don't need to see that. We can see the processors running here. Now, it's important to understand about the FM data migration assistant. It seems to run somewhat slower than just using the command line directly. In fact, it seems to take about twice as long. And so understand that the difference in speed here is going to be from 60 seconds or 90 seconds to maybe three minutes. And to be honest with you, going from multiple hours in a day to going through and doing this in three minutes is a huge improvement. The other thing to keep in mind is that even though it takes a minute or two longer, if you're not a command line person like I am, I'm definitely going to waste two or three minutes just trying to get the command line to work. So in a lot of ways, you're just better off running the FM Data Migration Assistant with the UI, even though under the hood, I think it uses less processors simultaneously. 
And that's why it takes it a little bit longer. So it's kind of a trade-off. I've talked to the evil twins at Productive Computing. They're aware of this issue. I think they're going to try to resolve this if they can. It mostly has to do with Apple's operating system allowing a request to be made to the command line and running in multiple processors in parallel. And so there we go. The process is complete. Over here, I'm going to bring up my migrated file right here. Now, the other thing I would love to see from these guys is a little bit more logging. I don't know if that's even possible. So here you can see the migrated file right here. So what the migrated file is, is that the migration tool, again, takes the clone. It actually duplicates the clone. And then it loads the data out of the master file into the new migrated file. So once again, this file here is around 700 megabytes. And after the migration process, typically it's a little bit smaller. It is. And so I can, of course, open this file right here. I can enter my admin and then uh, 1234 password. And we're into our copy of starting point lickety split. And once again, uh, you can see over here that all the data came across, including the container. So super awesome tool from the folks at Productive Computing. I want to say thank you once again to FileMaker for making a great tool. And I want to say thank you, frankly, to the folks at Productive for giving us a wrapper application that greatly simplifies this. So for more information about the Productive Data Migration Wrapper or this assistant tool, Check out the link right here at ProductiveComputing.com.